Hey, what is going on everybody? Dude, today we have a special video. Now I do want to apologize. I literally recorded this video like at least a month and a half ago, but I never got it out and I was about to not do it. But then I was like, you know what? Like, I honestly think your mom watches these videos and I don't want to let her down. I mean, you've already let her down all the time. So I mean, I'm, someone has to raise her spirits, you know? So today we are talking about none other than the LG V10 and how it holds up in 2018. Now it came out in 2015. So honestly, it's not even that old. It's, it's almost three years old. Some people might think it's old, but for me, I don't really think so and looking around the body it doesn't seem that bad either for me it actually looks kind of nice now this phone and the v20 as well probably have the most gimmicky thing i've ever seen it, it was the little top screen above the regular 5.7 inch screen which is pretty nice it's not amoled but above that we have a little strip and it was pretty much used for like notifications and stuff and it can have some custom messages on the side as well it's kind of cool but it's not really useful i've never really seen a need to have it the thing i like most about the body though was actually on the back it was the rubber on the back and this is the first phone that I actually liked the plastic build quality of it. It feels much better than the Moto X Pure that I have and they're both kind of the same in a lot of categories but I feel like the V10 executed it a lot better and the best part is about the V10 is that it actually has a removable battery and also has a removable storage as well so I mean the overall body honestly I would probably rate it like an eight and a half out of ten easily. Now the back has a 16 megapixel camera, which honestly isn't too bad either. It can shoot quad HD videos. It can shoot 1080p videos as well, but it can shoot 720p videos at 120 frames per second, which honestly is pretty surprising. It's definitely not bad, but it's not like the best camera ever. It has quite a few megapixels in the camera, but again, that doesn't mean it's the greatest camera out there. The five megapixels up front though, are enough to get the job done. There's actually a dual camera setup on it. I mean, again, like it's kind of cool having those kind of things, but for me, they're kind of unnecessary. I honestly don't think you need all these little tiny features and this and that in order to make a good phone. Like look at the Pixel 2 XL, even the original Pixel, those had great cameras and they didn't have dual sensors or anything. And this camera, I would probably rate it a 6.8 out of 10. Now flipping it into performance, it isn't too bad either, you know? The phone honestly looks like a beast. Like this is like the Dwayne The Rock Johnson or, or like the Guy Fiera of phones and, and the specs kind of match with it. It has a hexa-core processor clocked in at 1.4 gigahertz. It has an Adreno 418 GPU. And now you guys are gonna bully me again, but because the way I say gigabytes, okay, it's four gigabytes of RAM within it, which seems pretty solid, okay, and it is. But the phone has some weird issues. I don't know how to come up with it. I feel like, you know, I'm just like borderline harassing right now but but one common issue i have with this phone specifically with performance is that it does heat up a little bit you know it's a little bit more than usual like i can take some casual heating up here and there i've noticed that when i have multiple apps open it does heat up a little bit more than usual now again it's not a deal breaker but it kind of makes me feel uncomfortable and i kind of have to step out of the room a little bit and like you know like cool myself off and put my hand in a freezer or something in order to get this cool off a little bit now i did switch up the scoring system that i implemented like a week ago and i'm throwing gaming in this one as well because I added a different category but gaming isn't too bad either you know with these specs it's really hard to complain about you know everything so I kind of have to nitpick here and there overall specs you know at performance and everything I'd give it a, about an 8 out of 10 for sure battery life is probably the thing that sucks the most though I mean I would definitely have to charge it by the end of the day the screen up front and especially having all this power it kind of sucks up a lot of battery so honestly if I was to rate it right there I'd probably give it like a 5 out of 10 but since it does have a removable battery that score easily goes up like two points so it's about a 7 out of 10 for battery if you factor in the removable part because you can just throw in another battery within it now this is the new category this is the thing you've all been waiting for for weeks and months like like I had like George W Bush hit me up I'm like bro you're not president like how do you get my number and stuff like that you know but this new category is called future of this phone I call it personally destiny now it's kind of corny I can't think of a different name so we're just gonna have to roll with it and basically why would you even get a phone at all if you can't even tell how long it's going to last so I'm gonna get this out of the way. It's not getting any more updates right now. It's stuck on Android 7.0 as far as I can tell, which isn't that bad, you know, as long as it's not stuck on like Android Jelly Bean or something, like you're gonna be Gucci, you're gonna be good. But eventually, you know, it will feel outdated. Now, when that date is, I don't know. But again, this is an Android phone. And as far as I know, you are able to custom ROM it and custom root it and all that stuff, whatever. So as long as developers are making ROMs for this, you can easily just go on Google and just download a ROM and flash it on here if you know how to do that, which is all good and dandy and everything. But there are issues with this phone that have literally affected so many LG phones out there. And it's so hard not to talk about. And it's just at the end of the day, it's just repetitive because it's the same thing 
over and over again and I'm surprised LG hasn't even fixed the problem even up to this phone. But there are boot loop problems associated with this. Apparently it wasn't as widespread as earlier versions of LG's flagships but it still existed at this time and you might get a lemon and you might have an issue, you might not. And I'll tell you straight up, I didn't have any issues with this phone with boot looping but I did have some problems with connecting to Wi-Fi. My Bluetooth worked but for some reason my Wi-Fi didn't and I factory reset it and all this stuff and it still didn't work. So I'm not really too sure what was going on there. It, it caused me migraines and headaches and I had to go to like a foot doctor to figure that out. I don't even know what happened there but like overall I would give the destiny of this phone probably like a 3 out of 10 straight up. Like I just don't see much of a future for this phone. I feel like as the future progresses there's just going to be more and more problems with it. So after all the factual numerical issues and Roman numeral calculations and stuff I got 31.3 out of 50 and after some more chemistry and biological engineering I got a score of 62.6% which is passing but barely and honestly after looking at it now I think that score should have gone down a little bit probably around 59% probably a little bit below failing because I personally don't think you should have a phone or buy a phone that has these many problems. It's a shame too because it's such a beautiful phone but there's just issues with it that just rub me the wrong way. Now I'm sure there's people who are watching this who own an LG V10 that have absolutely no problems and I totally agree with you. I had an LG G2 for a very long time which had like little to no problems at all. And people would always talk to me about, oh, my phone's boot looping, my phone's this and that. I'm like, I don't have any problems with it. This, these problems don't exist. But then randomly one day my touch screen, like the top third stopped working. And it just like switches your life up because like you think it's not going to happen to you until it does. So honestly, would I recommend this? Probably not. I would not recommend this phone in 2018. What I would recommend though is I would consider getting a Note 5. It's around the same price as this. Maybe it's a little bit more expensive, but it will last you so much longer. And I'm, I'm sure the Note 5 has problems too. I did do a video on that in 2018, so make sure you check that out. But it's overall a better package, I feel like. But I'd love to know what you guys think. Leave it down in the comment section whether you agree with me or disagree with me. I read all the comments, so it's just a matter of time before I see yours. And my voice is kind of low right now. I didn't even mention in the beginning of this video. I'm just super tired and super late, so I just gotta knock it out. But make sure you like this video, dude. If you don't like it, I'm gonna come and find you. I'm just gonna log into your device and just like it for you. So, so either you like it now or I like it for you. You know, you choose. But hit that subscribe button. That's way more important. And if you're already subscribed, just tell your parents to subscribe. Tell your grandfather to subscribe. I'm trying to get to 40,000 subscribers by the end of this month or next month and then 50,000 by the end of June or July and then 100,000 by the end of this year bros we can make it happen but I need you guys support in order to do it so please hit that oh and please subscribe to my other channel lo-fi alpaca all the links are in the description so if you want a one-stop shop to getting all these links links are in the description dude like seriously but more importantly than everything else I love every single one of you guys and hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video peace out to them